today's weigh in 285.4 this morning's blood sugar 11.0 no comment. Actually, I do have a comment. Um, I'm getting all irritated and pissed off because my blood sugar won't come down. Yet, it's my fault. Um, and what's to be irritated for even if it wasn't my fault? You just have to stay focused because the irritation can lead to binges. Because, not because it's an emotional thing, but you just you use it as an excuse. Um, I ate bread yesterday, I haven't taken it out of the equation, I haven't taken it out of the equation for this whole process. So I'm doing all these different things, vegan, high carb, whatever, but I'm not taking out bread. Bread's high carb, right? But in my body, I've got to adapt it to me, and I don't think bread's going to work ever. So it needs to go. So rather than get irritated at myself, get irritated at the bread. Not even get irritated at anything really. <laughs> Just stop eating it. Right, breakfast. Two Ks of these guys. I've got to get through them because they're quite. They're getting a bit old now. So here we go. That's actually really just a snack. I know it looks like a lot of food, but the net weight. 2.4 kilograms when I started. 2.4 kilograms. See that? It's now 2.1. Even though it looks like a lot of food, that's 300 grams of fruit. Just making a little salad here. It's basically egg yolk, lots of egg yolk. Actually, it's mango, but it looks like egg yolk. Um, and I've got spinach in here, tamarind, cucumbers, and red peppers and I'm just drenching it in mango goodness and then I'm putting these little passion fruits on top because I've got all this from the organic store a bit more of that and I just want to get the calories in but at the same time slow down the sugar rush so I've added a ton of greens and I think it's just going to be an epic it's more like a soupy thing, I don't know it reminds me of like fried egg basically it reminds me of um, it reminds me of like egg yolk, <laughs> it's really funny, but it just does. But it's like really so good. It's crazy, crazy good salad. So semi savory but more sweet because it's still breakfast and I fancy something sweet. What started off was I, I ate one of these and it was just ludicrously sweet. And I thought, why don't I just make a salad out of it? Oh man, no, epic. I think this might be a solution for diabetics to get the calories in. That's the problem. How do you get enough calories in without spiking your blood sugar? And I think this might be a solution. I'll let you know. So I'm doing my blood sugar just after bringing in the salads into the fruits as well and to see what my blood sugar is. 9.8. Yes, we have a solution. Mission control, we have a solution. <laughs> The reason why I'm saying it's a solution is because I've had a good amount of calories and the blood sugar's coming below 10. It's not like I'm starving myself. I had, you know, a kilo of mango blended up, but I just mixed it all up with loads of salad and greens to have even more calories. And I'm full, I couldn't even eat the whole thing. I've still got some more left that I'll snack on in a bit. Plus I had the 300 grams this morning. So, bit of stair walking, a bit more fiber, 9.8. Crazy tropical salad, yes. Mm -mm. Another salad. This one's banana, lettuce and grape. Half a kilo of grape, just two bananas and the rest is lettuce. So this is my dinner. It's a pumpkin pad thai, carrots and beetroot. And the pad thai bit is just pad thai sauce. But yeah, doing a great day today. Check that. <laughs> and check that that's why I got that 8.4 so my blood sugar today was 10 9.8 9.2 8.4 the first day it's come down from the morning and I'm full I am full up I've had big meals 
really good Mills, I'm so excited. 8.4, I'm below 10. If I can keep it like this, I'm going to reach the sixes. That's my goal, 8.4, smiles. Okay, today was an amazing, amazing day. Um, weight was 85.4 to start. Blood sugar was 10.1. But then I had this idea recently to just blend all of my fruits in with salads. I did that and I did some stair walking after my breakfast and my blood sugar was 9.8. I then did the same for lunch, another blended up uh, salad with uh, spinach and stuff in it. And then I also had, and my blood sugar again was 9.6. I also had a, a pumpkin meal, so just cooked vegetables for the dinner and a, uh, a soup as well. Uh, and that basically came in at um, 8.6 and I'm just going to add a few more things to the chronometer so I pause here so I also had a half a kilogram of grapes with cos lettuce as a kind of snack uh, and then in the dinner time I had Uh, as well as the pumpkin, I had a soup, and altogether my calories for the day were about 2,500. So yes, it is less calories, I agree, but and not that much less, maybe 500 to 600 less, but it's a lot of fibre and a lot more minerals in the greens. And also, the most important thing for me right now is not having high blood sugar because that creates long-term damage at quite a fast rate. So I'm going to under eat slightly. I probably should be having around 3,000 calories, but I'm keeping the exercise somewhat moderate. And um, as I can eat more, I'll exercise more and carry on. But right now it's really about repairing my digestive tract, my digestive, my, my digestive system so that I don't have high blood sugar. And that's what the results we're getting. So it's working. And that is it. Great. Another wicked, amazing day.